Easy, boy. Hey, mister, that's one nice looking horse you got there. How about we see how fast it is? First one to Caliga Hall. Will you? Sure, why not? Ready? Let's go. I'm surprised I won, honestly. Darn it! Damn horse acting up on me of all the times. <sighs> Good race. Could have gone either way. I wish things was different, but hey, take care of yourself, here. Yeah? Hey there. You better get on. We don't want you here after what you don't look quite right. Well, thought I might have seen the last of you. All right, what do you want? Mister, I've been trapped down here. Why are you dressed up like that? I've seen some sick perversions in my time, but this one might take the prize. No, 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 wait. You've got to help me. It's that crazy gunsmith. He made me dress up like this. He's got me chained to the goddamn foot. You got to do something. Please, he's never going to let me go. Whoa, now. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me, right now.
Nothing to no worse down there, I swear. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right. I ain't got nothing to hide. I got my boy sleeping down there. It's such a shame to wake him. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. Oh, you, you just stay away from me. Now what I tell you about talking to your pa that way? Oh, oh, thank God. Don't shoot me, please. Just, just leave us be. Just what the hell is going on here? He was being a bad little boy, stealing candy from the store again. It's for his own good. I'm not your little boy, you mad son of a bitch. Morning. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Please. What are you waiting for? Please. No, the chains. Shoot the chains. Oh. oh, thank you. That sick son of a bitch kidnapped me, made me pretend to be his son. I owe you for this, mister. Shit. Pay with my body and my mind. Hey, mister. Will you give me some money? Sure. One of my hogs crushed half her piglets. Well, thank you. Say, say, where you from? You around. <laughs> Ain't from around here. If that was you, I'd leave. This town lost its goddamn soul a long time ago. <laughs> Nothing but nasty, miserable people. Yeah? Yeah, ever since them, them greys moved here. They're a bunch of no-good white trash. Yeah, they, they somehow got rich. About 50 years ago, they moved here, caused a whole heap of trouble. Yeah, I reckon they was, reckon they was Yankee spies during the war and everything. That's so. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Miss Rachel. I had it with this damn place. No no earthly respect from us. As a sign of respect to our creator, we pay respect to the dead. Oh, Father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? 
He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. A brave man, undone by pride, doomed to a life of sin and vice. Tell us straight, Father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. Let us pray for this man, O oh Father. Provide him mercy. Amen. That's my boy. <laughs> Whoa! Just plain shocking. You okay, boy? Yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But uh, well uh, come with me to the churchyard and stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh... Oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh... This, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay, you head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there, it's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it, I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy, ain't no one around. Just you two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day, you now. You don't want to hang around here. Come on, quick! Look at the trouble you got us in. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation.
I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. for some, uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, there. I suggest you start heading back that way. Easy, mister. We'll go. Come on. That's good. Keep it up. Hope this hole's dug. All right, well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. Just more of the same around here. Idiot. You'll be all right.
Easy, boy. Easy. You're okay. Easy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, that's it, boy. Somebody else to pull over for you. Calm down, we. That means stop, damn it. Stop, I ain't playing. God here. damn it. and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Yeah. Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse. Of course, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage, for me, has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Yep. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> so, you live at Emerald Ranch, then? Yeah. For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. 
If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. The lights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. Oh, we're getting close now. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. <laughs> You're a good boy. Like me, be a wise man, be a fool for love. Help a blind man. Here. I see the morrows and see them clearly, sir. Even when all reason is lost and all truth has become lie, you will stand firm. For loyalty is both your saving and your curse. Well, okay then. Thank you, I guess. Please, I need to be alone with my son. Yeah. Hi there, mister. You okay, boy?
Win homes. I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Hmm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Hmm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. Well, um, uh, need our horses? It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive! Okay, follow me. Drive! I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name's all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Wait, risky? I'm mean, I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm, I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. Hey, how about this then? I guarantee we paint. Cause I'm gonna get that money out of you. If I gotta squeeze you like a lemon, it's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, okay? We're onto it now. 
The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? The big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Drive. Oh, there. This is it. Her den. We should leave the horses. Easy. All right. Kill me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark. You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah. to be going the other way. Come on, we've got to cover both forks.
got it. Crap. Damn. Dead dead. Where are you, you aging cat? What? Better be rare. Get out of here, horse. Your man ain't coming. What? Better be rare. Get out of here, horse. Your man ain't coming. Okay, fella. Mr. 
Well, ain't you a man? Just what one is your problem. For? Hey, mister. seen you around please look around you must travel a lot if you've made it all the way over here grab some items for your camp coffee hunting supplies biscuits canned items all along the perimeter of the shop it's got everything you need good then all right Fine item. Hmm? You gotta break some rules to run a proper shop. That mayor ain't gonna stop me. Good then. All right. Got what I need. Welcome There's some on. problem here. Welcome all. Hello. Welcome to our fair city. Citizen. Hey there, boy. Hey, partner. Yeah. Yeah. All right there, boy. Let's get loose! Oh, 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 God, you did it! Praise Jesus! Oh, God! I gotta, gotta grab something for, for the blood. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I was uh, done for you. Say, lift me. Thank you. Oh, uh, take something from my back. For the trouble, though, I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna take a take a minute now. Here, drink this <clears throat> for the pain. Oh, 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 God, yes. <clears throat> My leg feels like it's like it's on fire.
Let's go, boy. It's me. Look what the cat dragged in. Arthur! 
Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got a bout around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I've done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Real good, boy. I caught boy. some reprobate shambling around my backyard yesterday. Let's wait for a while. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. That's the man there, rotten to the core. That a fact. Hello, Alden. <gasps> Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The wickedness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. What 
the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, Strawberry, could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Here we are. This is the spot. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. Right ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. So, not at all. I'm the best. Did you say a show? It's a small benefit. Easy. Blackwater. Just a I'm looking for a piece of uh, I, 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 
I... Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Can I help you? Oh, looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. And you're helping everybody. And there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attack my fields. Men getting killed. Just who are you? That awful business was nothing to do with us. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? 
Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Passion you. On you go. Crazy old fool. If he only knew we just torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. 5,000 for horses. They must be rich. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we going to play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking at a purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right. Let's hitch up here. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. OK, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. 
that's what you're interested in? What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here is Cerberus. <laughs> Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need... Nobody recognizes us. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Hey, easy, easy now. now. Easy now. Marston, you're going to tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier? Whoa, Easy. Easy. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa, man. Easy. Easy, man. Easy. It's okay. Now, just a scratch. Good boy. This way. Come on. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! You're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! Ooh. Out of my damn way! Uh, yeah, More coming this way! Out of the fields! trouble. Easy. Hey now. Yeah, 
Привет. Эй, Морган! Over here! You got him! Well done! Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Come here! You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Boys want. Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ugh. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, 
I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adjusco boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've gotta take it. I killed Combs' brother a long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubton Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had... Pinkerton's coming after us because of Blackwater and Leviticus Cornwall and his private army Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head hmm? And we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous look you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us, hmm? Okay, just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah, 
might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plain. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Hello, Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? sense. <clears throat> Handing them over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Colum and Patrick head off to? In a town, I think. He's escaping! Shoot him! Relax! Relax! I got him! I got him! <laughs> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. <laughs> ah! Weapons over there. Oh, our 
for Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. It ain't nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come right with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Uh, Six point guy. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached truth. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sword. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? <laughs> of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Mexico. I want to go home. Home! Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Let's go. 
My dear boy, what? They got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He was gonna set the law on us. Oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. I got you. You're safe now. Yeah, that's pretty. Tough. That's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. <laughs> 